Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Kudo Pixel channel. I'm Brian. Today, I want to talk about the Japanese language proficiency test, the JLPT. And this test measures your Japanese proficiency, your ability in how well you know Japanese. And it measures this by checking if you know vocabulary, grammar, listening, and reading comprehension. For those of you thinking, hey, I'm, I'm not ready to take the JLPT. You must have to be really good at Japanese to take this test, right? Wrong. Uh, there are five levels of the JLPT, and they call them by uh, the letter N and then a number. So you have all the way from N5 to N1. So N1 is the highest level of the JLPT, and then you have N5, the very bottom. So if you are a beginner in Japanese, you would be aiming for N5. I've taken the JLPT from N4 all the way through N1. If you live in Japan, uh, the JLPT is held uh, two times a year. If you do not live in Japan, don't worry. The JLPT can also be taken uh, in your country. Uh, I believe in the U.S. it is held uh, one time a year. So, what books should I use to prepare for the JLPT? First, uh, if you have never taken a JLPT before, I highly recommend taking a mock test, a fake test, uh, because most of the JLPT is, is getting used to the format that is used on that test. Uh, if it's your first time, you might be a little bit off because the format of the test is new for you. So instead of just you know applying your Japanese knowledge, you're, you're getting used to the format as well. I have some books here that I do recommend. You can find them in Japanese bookstores if you live in Japan. If you don't live in Japan, I will also put links in the description so you can uh, buy these and have them shipped to you uh, wherever you may live. So the books that I recommend, uh, if you've never taken the JLPT before, these, are official uh, books from the company, the organization that, that makes the JLPT. And these are full-blown tests. Uh, they are written and formatted exactly the same way as the JLPT, so you know exactly what you're getting into. Uh, let's take a look at, this is the in uh, 3 one from many years back that I had. And what you'll notice is it comes with a CD, so you can do the listening part. In these books, you have a time limit because this is just like the test. So if you do this book, I recommend that you stick to the time limit and time yourself. If you want to see my reviews of some of the other JLPT books, please go to my website, kudopixel.com, click on books at the top, and you can see all of the books for, for the JLPT that I have reviewed. If you live in Japan and you're fortunate enough to have a nice bookstore, you can go to the bookstore and if you have a study Japanese section, you're going to see some of these books and they're easy to recognize. They're all white and they have animal designs on them. This is the Nihongo Soumatome series uh, and they make these for all levels of the JLPT. They have different books that focus on different things. There are some of these that I do not recommend. They have the vocabulary book. It was very helpful when I used it. You can't tell very well, but in this book, they've got like a chart and some people. So you got your vocabulary. Uh, these books are fine for reading comprehension. I don't, it's not an issue and it's just, it's good reading practice. The kanji book, um, I would say at the, the lower levels, like N3, it's helpful, but starting with N2 and above, uh, I don't think these are very helpful. The grammar book. I cannot recommend this book because uh, the explanations are not so great. The translations in this. Uh, th this book has Chinese, Korean, and English. And I find when books usually do that, they're not very good because they usually hire the most overworked, least person knowledgeable in English to do the English translation and it's bad. It's just, I there was misspellings in here and, and lots of explanations did not make sense. 
if you want a grammar book that's very good, I would recommend the Try series or the Kanzen Master series. Don't worry, I will put links to both of those books in the description so you can find them. When you take the test, now every place is different, but I want to tell you some tips uh, for when you go take the test. When you go in, I recommend you bring a wristwatch. Some places cover the wall clock in the room so you don't know how much time you have left, but uh, bring your own watch so you can see how much time you have left. If you have an eraser with you, take the cover off of your eraser. Uh, take it off because the test examiner is going to ask you to take it off. And every time I've been to these tests, there's always someone that doesn't know this. And then the Japanese person explains in Japanese, please take your cover off. And uh, it takes a while for everyone to get the message. So I've said what I need to say about the JLPT, but I'm curious um, for all of you out there, are you interested in taking the JLPT? And what level are you shooting for? If you have any questions about the JLPT, leave some in the comments. I, I really want to know what everyone's doing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.